the election season, we're down to Barack Obama and John McCain, and I want to find out from you guys what your opinion is about this election, how it's shaping up, who are you going to vote for? Barack Obama. I'm not a Republican, but I do know McCain back from his senator days in Arizona, and I was pretty impressed with his work. Vote for Obama, no more drama. <laughs> Whoever wins does right for the country, that's all I want. What's up, mi gente, and welcome to LA TV Presents Decision 08. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. Now, on today's show, we're going to be covering the presidential election and how it affects us Latinos. We have some amazing guests, but first, I have to talk about the deceptive negative campaigning because it has me confused. A few months ago, they had me believing that Hillary Clinton was picking up the phone at 3 a.m. to bail Bill Clinton out of jail somewhere. <laughs> but you know what? Latinos got to get involved in the negative campaigning. Did you know that John McCain's father was an admiral in the Navy and John McCain was actually born on the Panama Canal? This could be used against him. Ask any Latino, would you vote for anyone that was born in Panama? Uh, as a spokesperson for VotoLatino.org, how involved are Latinos in the election this year? They're incredibly involved, and I think what's really more telling than anything else is that 52% of all Latinos that casted a vote during the primaries were under the age of 29. We have 18 million Latinos that are eligible voters. 50,000 Latino youth turn 18 every single month. Imagine if every single one voted. A lot of people were skeptical about whether Latinos were going to go ahead and, and support Obama once he won the, the uh, uh, nomination for the Democratic Party, but he's getting support amongst Latinos. What does he have to offer Latinos? And what does McCain have to offer Latinos for that matter? Obama, to me, rep is a product of the civil rights movement that us as Latinos, as, as Chicanos, Mexicanos, were proud of. This is going back to the 60s. You know, this is what Cesar Chavez marched for. This is what we strive to, to accomplish. You know, mm -hmm. we, we have someone of mixed nationality from, from humble beginnings, mm -hmm. went to community college, Columbia, Harvard. You know, that, to me, tells a tale that mirrors mine or, you know, mm -hmm. the American dream. You know, I am a Republican, I'm, I'm a conservative, and I do think that economy, jobs, all of that is going to hinder on, um, on, on, on the bailout and what happens with mm -hmm. that. And I do think intervention is something that needs to happen right. and something that will, will push that envelope further Which eventually. Which is not necessarily a conservative thing. So are, 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 are we starting sort of coming to the middle, you think, as, as, as especially Latinos? Do you think the Latinos are coming to the middle, that they're not necessarily to the left or to the right anymore, but they're trying to find that balance? I think, they've, I think Latino, again, we're very issue-oriented. 79% of all Latino eligible voters speak and consume primarily in English. And when you hear candidates talking to the Latino community, it's always in Spanish. That's fantastic because we do need that 21%, but talk to me in culturally relevant matter and actually make that effort. What do you think about immigration? I think immigration is very important because everyone who is here immigrated at one point. So like, why the hell are they hating on everyone who's immigrating? Just let them be, you know? One thing I don't approve of is that Mexicans come here and they come to our country and like, let's say they get pregnant and they we have to pay for them from our taxes. We're paying for them free, you know? And I don't approve of that. You know why they don't pay taxes? Because they don't give them permits in the first place. If they would give them permits, we would pay taxes, of course. You know why? Because sure. everyone loves this country. Who doesn't you know? want to be here? Asians and Latinos unite and get, and get, and get, and no, should, so that we can get better immigration laws and, and, and more of our people can come to this country and help build this country and add to this country. Right? Yes. Sarah Palin herself, the selection of herself is a misleading distraction tactic to distract away from the issues that the economy sucks and it's the Republicans' fault and John McCain's a Republican. You know, so I, that's what I believe. That, the, you know, the Democrats aren't trying to mislead. In terms of their campaign, are they? You tell me. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that Obama is a master politician. Mm -hmm. I think that he can tell us anything and that we would believe it because he's that smooth, he's that smart, he's that well-trained. And that scares you? It scares me because... And if we don't go to that war, we lose stability in this world. It's hectic you now. You really think so? I do because we need that oil. The United States, for better or worse, had to go into Iraq to protect our oil interest and not to be dependent at the guns of Putin in Russia mm -hmm. and Chavez in Venezuela and the Iranians who are dying to get a nuclear weapon and blow us up F and everybody else with them. Not my be, opinion. Not, 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 not because I'm siding with him on this, but I'm giving you the final thought, my friend. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think we're better than going into a sovereign country and killing for oil. You that's know, right. The fact that Latinos are dying at disproportionate, that's a crime. The fact that we have, you know... At least cut us into the profits. <laughs> 
right? No, seriously. No, and we have to, and we have to be responsible because you know we're we're spending eighty bucks a, a week on gas. Well, there are alternatives. We have to make that demand, and there's money to be made. It's not like you know if all of a sudden we go green, we're not going to mm. make money. There's tons of money to be made, mm. and how do we do that? And we have to hold people accountable. Go so. ahead, final thought. And, and, and just think of this, when the war was initiated, I mean, the Bush administration was like, you know, Congress and these, you know, the, the military saying it's going to cost 80, 100 billion, that's, that's, that's wrong. It's going to end up costing five to seven trillion. It's like 200 billion a week. More than half our deficit. It's costing. We're, at the end of the day, you know, people are going to have their own perspectives, but like you commented, I mean, it's the, the, the process, getting involved, you know, and, and making your voice heard, you know. Guys, I want to thank this amazing panel. I want to thank the studio audience. I want to thank LA TV for putting this on. This is very important. The most important thing is for us to be involved, register to vote. You still got some time. Let's be part of the process and let our voices be heard. Thanks a lot, guys. This is a little spoken word that I've been sharing with all my raza. Hopefully, nos mueve. It's called raza por todos lados. Hay raza por aquí, raza por allá. Raza por todos lados, no nos para nada. Tenemos un problema, un dilema, el sistema ya no sirve. Y cuando algo ya no sirve, pues se arregla. Para todo padre, madre, hijo, hija, abuelito, abuelita, mi primito, mi primita, sobrinita, Lía. El día va a llegar cuando el mundo va a ser tuyo, pero no te lo voy a entregar con tanto barullo. Hay guerra en el medio oeste, en vano muriendo mi gente. Sin planes de salir no le hace que tanto nos cueste. Transeando gasolina como coca heroína. Sangrando ya sin vida cuánta raza más perdida. Cuando esto termina casi cinco dólares el galón ya ni chinga. Pero ¿saben qué? Hay raza por aquí, raza por allá, raza por todos lados no nos para nada. Voten por Obama. Sí se puede. <laughs> <laughs>